Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvements? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Tape TV. Well, fantastic. We are excited that you made it. Hi, I'm John Braviscus. It's great to have you back aboard the boat with us. What I'm tooling around in is a model year 2008 57 foot Bertram. It's called the 570. And about six months back, we started an on air promo and we asked different viewers if they wanted to sea trial a boat with me at different places around the country. And that's kind of what we have right here today. We have some viewers along with a professional captain and we're on a sea trial on this 570. And I want to introduce you to some of the viewers of Shipshape TV. First off, we have Ron Mullen along with his father, Ron Sr. And you guys are from what town? Medway. Medway, Massachusetts, welcome aboard the boat. You're currently Bertram owners and you wanted to see trial the boat with us here. This is our captain, Randy Almeida. Almeida. Yeah. All right, and Randy is on staff with Bertram. You do demos at tournaments and you actually would see trial. I mean, this is your life. This is, this is what you do. We also have Michael Weiss along doing? with Paige Finley. Finley. Yeah. And you guys are from what town? Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. Fantastic. All right. Well, we want to ask Randy some questions in order to learn a little bit more about this boat on a real sea trial. And let's kind of start off with the layout of the boat, Randy. How many staterooms does it have? How many people will it sleep? Talk to me about this. Okay. Uh, the 570 here, the version 570, has a three stateroom layout, uh, VIP forward, midship master stateroom, and also the third stateroom being a side-by-side. -side. It also has three heads in it uh, as far as convenience, a salon and a galley. All the, all the fixtures of being in a condo. You know, a lot of people will consider a boat like this in lieu of a condo. Right. You know, they, they can spend their weekend on the water, they can go to different places, and it makes a whole lot of sense. But this is a very serious sport fish, okay? And, and, and it's used big time in tournament fishing and, and there's a very big tournament going on this week called what? It's called the Mid-Atlantic 500 and he, people will come from all around. It's one of the, one of the largest tournaments here. Uh, they fish for white marlin, blue marlin, tuna, wahoo and dolphin. What kind of money are we talking about? That well stage? they call it the Mid-Atlantic 500 so you know at least be at least $500,000 probably up in a and above and beyond, probably a million dollars in prizes here. This all right, well this, this boat is set up to fish. It has a release fighting chair that actually kind of swings out to the to the corner so you can get that tip of the rod around the corner of the boat when you're working a fish. It's got the outriggers, uh, upper control station. I mean, this, this, this baby is laid out the fish, but it's also very, very beautifully laid out inside. I really like the layout of this boat. Well, there's a lot of thought process that's gone into Bird from in, in the research and in listening to their customers. The ability of this boat here has a lot of room in it. You know, I recently did a story down in Miami at Bertram where I was showing how these anti-rolling gyros get installed into sport fishes right. to, to stabilize them when you're out in the water so, so that you don't get motion sick well, anymore. And, and this boat has those, correct? Yes, we do have a set of anti-rolling gyros that are on board here. Okay, and they're powered by the, the generators, these are Kohler generators. Right, the Kohler 25 kW uh, generators. And, okay. uh, it doesn't use any fuel, it uses the electricity off of uh, the generators to spool up these gyros. And it takes approximately around 35, 40 minutes to spool uh, these generators up in order but, to get them But working. it'll take you from a rockin' and rollin' situation to settling you right down. And, and a lot of people that might get motion sick really like that feature, and we're gonna talk about that in, in a little bit. But let's talk about the engines. What are the engines powering sure, okay. the 570? Uh, in, in, in this engine right here, excuse me, this boat right here is uh, the 570 Bertram. You have the Caterpillar C32s with 1,650 horsepower on each engine. Uh, there are other engines you could opt to get, uh, Cummings, uh, MTU, and MAN. But uh, right now on this boat right here, we have the Caterpillar C32 engines in. Do you guys have any questions at all about? Yeah, I have a question. Sure. How would one replace the motors and about this size. I'm kind of glad you asked that question. Uh, Bertram has done the thought process, uh, whereas other manufacturers, eventually down the road, Bertram owners tend to keep their boats for a long period of time. And at some point in time, you're gonna have to maybe repower your engines. Well, the thought process was to not uh, mess any of the integrity up of the boat. 
And what they've done in the back in the salon area there is made the window, they created a window that's large enough so when the engines do have to be taken out, that the boat doesn't have to come apart other than just... You don't, you don't have to cut into the you boat, don't you have can to just pop it. out a window right. and, and it's large enough to get the engines in, out. in and out. Right. Okay, let's talk about the fuel capacity of this boat, how that's going to relate to the speed of the boat and the range, how far we can travel on a single tank of gas. First off, how much diesel will this boat hold? The 570 has approximately around 1,500 gallons total capacity, and it has one main tank. Uh, some other manufacturers have boats that have a storage tank, or what's called a day tank. We don't. Our tank is located in the center of the boat, in the center line of the boat, which helps the boat uh, as far as movement and coming out of the water and the stability. Whereas fuel dissipates and you use your fuel, your fuel's still the center line here. So it definitely helps as far as the stability of the boat, the movement of the boat, and again, using whether you've got to use your trim tabs or not. Okay. Let's talk about uh, optimal cruise speed. Okay, how fast will this boat go in an optimal cruise speed? And, and tell everybody what optimal cruise speed is all about. Well, full, full load optimum speed would be taking it and putting these throttles to the pins at about 100% load. And that's about 2,350 RPMs. These are the Caterpillar engines in here. Caterpillar kind of recommends that you run it between 70 to 80%, somewhere in that vicinity there. Um, if we were optimum speed, uh, be like 38 knots at a 23, 50% load, I'm um, 2350 RPMs there, excuse me, 100% load, we're burning about 80 gallons an hour on each engine. Okay, but that's not optimal, Cruz. No, that's, that's, that's wide not open that's throttle. Full, that's, that's as full, fast that, as the boat will go. That's as fast as she'll go. Okay, and, and what speed is that? And that's about 38 knots, approximately 38, okay. 39 knots on here on this 570. So, let's figure out the range here in our head, real quick. We got 1500 gallons. If we're burning, traveling 35 miles an hour, okay, 100 gallons an hour, right? we could run for 15 hours, or we've got a range of about maybe 425, 450 gallons, or exactly, 450 miles. Right, you're exactly right. Anywhere between 400 and 450, and then also depending upon the seas also. So, right. So these gyros that are going on, I, 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 when I saw them getting mounted, they were on both sides of the boat. In this craft, this is an accessory that you can opt for that is totally unique to Bertram in sport fishing, okay? But take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the difference. You know, a lot of people get motion sick. Absolutely. All right? And you can see, these are both 57-foot Bertrams, okay? One's rocking and rolling, the other one right next to it, man, it's got this anti-rolling gyro in it, or the ARG, and it just, it settles it down into the water, and, and this is so unique. And, and that's what I see with Bertram is just uniqueness after uh, ingenuity. I mean, you guys really right. have this down. Right now, Bertram has an exclusive on it. There's no other manufacturer out there in the sport fishing, uh, not to name any other brands, but uh, Bertram does have an exclusive with Mitsubishi, uh, and we're the only ones with the gyros right now. Well, you guys currently own Bertram now, and, and resale is so important. And, and, and talk to me about the resale on, on, on this boat. Does the Bertram hold its value uh, uh, much better than, than other brands? Absolutely. Uh, Bertram is, you know, if you were to take a boat that's three, four years old and compare it to some other products that are out there, you can see that the resale value, Bertram tends to hold a higher resale value. All right. Now, how the boat backs down is unbelievable, and, and you need to do that when you're trying to catch fish. Okay, and, and, and we've done that demonstration for everybody, and I mean, this boat really backs down. How, how fast will it back down on a fish? Well, safely, without soaking everybody in the cockpit, five, six knots, we can go after a fish. You know, okay. And uh, back down about five, six, seven knots. Do you have trolling valves? Do you, you know, because sometimes you want to, uh, sometimes if you just have it at, at the lowest speed you can, right. it's, it's not slow enough to troll in certain applications for fishing. Do you have trolling valves? Yeah, we do. And a lot of guys up here on the East Coast, uh, in this area, in some of this tournament, are white marlin fishing, and they're called, pulling what's called dredges. And dredges, you got to slow down, otherwise your dredges won't stay in the water. And what they've done is they've taken baits and put them on this big dredge. And it speeds are probably four and a half to five and a half knots. So which means we have to slow the boat down in its RPMs, and that's what we use in the trolling valves. Well, I want to thank you, Michael, Paige, thank you thank for you. joining us, Ron, Ron, and Randy. Thank you. Incredible stuff. I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed the sea trial. Mm -hmm.